Eventually, cruising will begin again. We're gonna have so much fun on board, but for now it looks like Disney is not going to be cruising for a little while. I cannot wait to get back on the Disney Cruise Line and other cruise ships. It's going to be fantastic when it all happens. It's taking a little bit longer than many of us thought, but we will get there without a doubt. But Disney has unfortunately canceled a few more cruises between now and whenever they reopen. Many of us thought the Disney Cruise Line would be sailing quite a bit this summer, but Disney has officially announced that the Disney Dream has canceled all departures through August 6, 2021, the Disney Fantasy, August 28th, 2021, the Disney Wonder, September 19th, 2021, and the Magic will not depart at least until November 4th, 2021. That is a long time. Time. Even though the Disney Cruise Line has decided to postpone all sailings for the Magic all the way through November, which is, that's a long time, other cruise ships are starting to make some waves. Royal Caribbean has announced that their first cruise for so, so long will start from the Port of Miami July 2nd, 2021. And after some back and forth at higher levels, they will not be requiring a vaccine on board. That's at the time of this filming, by the way. You never know what's going to happen or change, so do be sure to check on the website of the different cruise lines I mentioned. In addition, Celebrity Cruise Line will be departing June 26, which is actually part of Royal Caribbean, from Port Everglades. Now that's just here in the United States. Believe it or not, Celebrity Cruise Line has already started cruising out of St. Martin. They've already departed and they're making their way around. So they are starting these, I wouldn't call it a test. This is like the next phase of their reopening. So they are really starting to move. It makes me wonder, Disney Cruise Line's kind of waiting a lot longer. Why is that? The big reason that I can think of and I think makes sense is that Disney is a very large company. A lot of different things, studios, parks, make them money, right? So they don't just depend on the cruise line for their bottom line. These other cruise lines, they do require, they only do cruising, just as an example. So Royal Caribbean as an example. So they have to start a little bit faster. So hopefully we'll see Disney cruising soon, but otherwise other ones are starting to move. While we're waiting for the Disney Cruise Line to start up again, you may have seen Disney pushed an update for the Disney Cruise Line app. And if you look very closely in you know, the description of the update, you'll notice they made some pretty significant changes to some of their policies within the app update. This is version 4.5.0 of the Disney Cruise Line update. I'm looking at it from the Apple App Store, but you can get it on Android. Android as well. You'll notice, you know, at home you can make those reservations, all sorts of, you know, complimentary activities beginning 30 days prior to sailing. Very cool. Communicate directly with crew via live chat when you're on board. Look at that second one down on the onboard section. Join a virtual queue to reserve time at the family pool deck area and debark at ports of call. That is new. Debark from ports of call, that makes more sense. Okay, you got your phone, you know when you're gonna debark, got it, I get it, it makes sense, makes the offboarding process a little bit simpler. Okay, we are, we're on board. However, to reserve a time to get into the family pool, as soon as I saw that, I knew it was this major change to sailings right away. If you've never been on the Disney Cruise Line before, the family pool is one of the more popular attractions, especially when you're at sea. That's just, it's full the entire day of families having a great time together. For Disney to be limiting this, you know, it's for safety precautions, right? So these are safety precautions, they're trying to take all the steps, I get it. It's definitely going to be a big change for those of us, you know, who've been on cruising before and love to just kind of take a moment and say, oh, let's just head on up to the pool, now sounds like a good time. That will no longer be allowed. You'll have to make a time in advance to get to the pool. I have mixed feelings about this. Part of me says, okay, this makes sense. We can't have like 100 people in a super small area. I got it, makes sense. But another part of me is like, oh, you know what? This, I don't know if this is going to go too well with kids just wanting to jump in the pool. Like, we're used to just jumping in the pool. We can't do that anymore. So, not sure how else this is going to play out. But for them just to talk about the family pool, I get that one. And they didn't say anything else about other pools, but the family pool, you'll have to reserve a time in order to go on board. Interesting. My guess is that this policy will not be forever. I do not think for one moment, especially, you know, a couple, I don't know, years from now, it will not still be around. I don't see that at all. But for now, for the short term, this is the direction that Disney wants to go. Another big update is the participation in emergency drills via the app, which is pretty cool. Many other cruise ships have done this for a little while via the app. You're able to just kind of, you know, work with the assembly and just do that drill. It's super easy. With Disney Cruise Line, they haven't really done that yet. This is a big change. So when we're on 
on board, going to be very exciting, they are going to have this new kind of assembly drill with the app. Not going to be mandatory, of course, but they're going to recommend it, and it's probably going to be so much simpler with the app. Now, the last time we talked about Disney Cruising, I did mention that I was super excited about the Disney Wish. Sure enough, I booked a day, one of the inaugural sailings. Super, super excited. For those who missed it, weren't following along as we were going, the maiden voyage was sold out before it got to the gold level castaway club members. I'm a gold level. I did not make it on the maiden voyage. I wish that I had. I truly do, but I understand it. It has to be, you know, they have to do it a certain way where they limit the number of people on board. I believe the chances of one of them, one of those spots opening up in the future is extremely low. It could happen. You never know. But I think that ship is totally sold out. The maiden voyage of the Disney Wish. It'll be exciting to go on future maiden voyages, but I'm still super excited to go on the inaugural sailing. One of, one of the inaugural sailings, right? So it's that season, the inaugural season of the Wish. It's going to be great. Now let's switch gears here to Walt Disney World. Just the other day, I'm very grateful to some friends who brought it to my attention. Disney, just in the middle of the, I would call it late at night, around 10.30, 10.45, they all of a sudden released a few extra spots for the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. And I'm delighted to tell you, I got a ticket. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun to celebrate together. Let me know if I'll see you there in the park. 50th anniversary of the most magical place on Earth. This is a great sign. It means that Disney's already thinking about how they want to expand those numbers in the future. They're getting ready to let more guests into all the parks. We've been seeing this happen throughout July. I think there were many spots that opened up, including for annual pass holders. Now, this ticket, the 50th anniversary, is not tied to annual passes, though. You couldn't book it through your annual pass. You had to get a separate ticket in order to go. I'm super excited nonetheless, but just know that more openings, the 50th anniversary, are likely in the coming weeks. So if you don't have a reservation and you really want one, pay close attention to the reservation system. You never know when something's going to open up in the future. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so you can keep an eye on when those openings come about. In addition, one of my favorite restaurants at Walt Disney World is reopening. Yes, so excited about this one. Ohana officially opens July 9th, 2021. Super excited to get back. Now, we did learn that it is going to be an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's going to be great. There may be some menu items that are missing. We're not 100% sure about all that. I'll let you know more as we find out. Of course, we'll be experiencing it together, but the characters will not be in the area. Not, you know, for now. It's for now. There will be the uh, ukulele player walking around. It's going to be great. You're going to really feel immersed. I cannot wait to get back. That food is just incredible. It's going to be so much fun. In addition, we saw many positions open for Space 220. Now, if you haven't been following along, Space 220 is one of the brand new restaurants that Disney is yet to open. We learned about it a long time ago. There were some issues with a screen in there, but imagine blasting off to a space station and dining among the stars. It's going to be incredible, and it looks like Disney is just about ready to open it. I would not be surprised if it opened before the 50th anniversary. Not saying that it will, but I, I would not be surprised if it did, given how far along they are with the hiring process, and clearly the restaurant is just about ready to go. That being said, the 50th anniversary, the day of, that's even more likely of an opening date. For Halloween this year, the Boo Bash is coming around. We spoke about it in an earlier video. Super excited about it. It's like after hours, not not so scary. So this is not a party. This is after hours event. That's the way to think about it. It's kind of a combination, Boo Bash, you know, not so scary plus after hours, but you're missing a few things from not so scary. So this is not meant to replace not so scary. This is an after hours for Halloween, something a little bit different. The popularity for it, however, <laughs> It's super surprising. Not, not in a bad way, it's a great thing. A lot of guests are super excited for this brand new event. The phone lines for that opening day were extremely crowded. Six, eight hour waits to try and get your ticket for Boo Bash. It's going to be a very unique event and I'm sure a spooktacular time. One of the big questions that still remains at Walt Disney World, will we see Independence Day fireworks this year on July 4th? I really don't know. There has been a lot of testing recently. We've been seeing lights coming on, tests after hours. It's tough to know for sure. It definitely would make sense for there to be fireworks for July 4th, but so far, no official word. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna see fireworks this year for Independence Day, or do you think they're probably gonna push it off closer to the 50th anniversary? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below or about anything we spoke about today. Love to hear from you. Every single day at Walt Disney World, we're seeing something new, whether the distance is being reduced or masks are no longer 
going to require it in theaters that have an open area. Eventually, we're going to get to that point where we really feel like, you know what, we're back to where we used to be. It's going to be magical on that day. Slowly but surely, we're getting there together. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.